Boston Partners in Education is marking its 50th anniversary by campaigning for mentors to help Boston students. To tell us about the effort is our guest from the organization, the Executive Director, Pamela Sivens. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, Pamela. Oh, thank you for having me. So what got this all started 50 years ago? Yeah, there was actually a movement in the U.S. around getting community members involved with urban public school systems. And so we're not the only one that exists. If you go to Cambridge, there's something called Cambridge School Volunteers. We were originally known as School Volunteers for Boston. And we changed our name to Boston Partners in Education in the early 1990s, uh, wanting to involve more corporations. So it's it's there are these organizations that have been around for 50 years around the country. Well, one, one thing has certainly changed over, over the years, and I would say the past couple of years, actually, we've heard a lot more about mentors, not just volunteers, you know, for tutoring, but I guess, yeah. I guess adults who have relationships with students and how important that is. Yeah, we call our volunteers academic mentors. We push them right into a classroom. It's really the teacher making the decision of what students will benefit the most from one hour of extra attention each week. And so once that teacher makes that decision about a student, or a small group of students, it's really up to us to find the individual who is going to be consistently going there at least one hour each week over the school year and really supporting the student academically. But when you're sitting next to a child, you start having conversations about lots of things and you learn a lot about a student after a whole year of working with that student in the classroom. Well, I, I imagine you know, in this school system, you have, first of all, a lot of students whose families don't speak English at home. So mm -hmm. I can imagine that student maybe being a hard worker, being very intelligent, but you know, not able to keep up all the time with mm -hmm. the normal class instruction. Yeah, and having that extra support, really somebody who can uh, really review and make sure that a child understands a question. When a teacher's in front of 15 to 20, 22 kids, it's hard for that teacher to catch everyone. And I will say half, almost half of the students that are nominated for um, volunteers, for academic mentors, are somewhere on that English language learner spectrum. So when I say that, I really mean maybe they speak English, but their family might not be speaking English at home when they're there in the evenings. Or else, some of them are fairly new to the country, and they really do benefit from just having that extra English speaker in their life. We're talking with uh, Pamela Sivens from Boston Partners in, in Education. Um, talk about uh, how, how you match up volunteers to students. I mean, I'm sure you're not just tossing people in the mix really knowing here. No, not at all. We've got, it's really two-pronged. So first, like I said, a teacher will nominate their students. And when a teacher nominates their students, they're really sharing with us, so what are the issues that that student has? It could be that student speaks English as a second language. Maybe they lack confidence. Maybe they're missing some key concepts in math that they really need if they're going to keep progressing over the years. So once that's identified, uh, then we're actually talking to potential volunteers, right? If somebody wants to volunteer from us, it's very layered in terms of getting involved. First, we ask people to fill out a registration form online. Then we invite them in for a conversation. We really want to learn why they want to be involved, what neighborhood they want to be in, what time they can give over the week. Uh, can they do more than one match? Some of our volunteers can. Uh, and then we invite them back to be trained. Uh, and all of our volunteers have background checks done. We don't do them in-house. The Boston Public Schools does that for us. We facilitate that. Uh, but we really hope that the volunteer, by the time that match is made, understands the importance of that consistency of going right once a week for at least an hour. Uh, they've come back uh, a couple of times, right? They've come in for an interview. They've come back for a training. We talk about mentoring a lot in our training, more than what's going to be taking place in terms of the curriculum in the classroom. It really is how do you talk with a child? How do you communicate? How do you ask questions? How do you share information with that child's teacher? Because it, maybe that teacher might not know of um, something that's happening with the child's learning that a volunteer might catch when they're, they're there with that child. You've done some of this volunteering. Uh, what have you learned? What have I learned? Uh, fifth grade math can be difficult, <laughs> especially the new way it's being done. That's where my focus is right now. Uh, you know, I just learned that every kid, every child is really special. And every child has a lot of potential. And it's really about tapping into that child and really listening to that child and kind of understanding where they're coming from. I like to volunteer in Dorchester because I live in Dorchester. And so I've been uh, with high schoolers at uh, Boston International uh, Newcomers Academy. I've been at the Sarah Greenwood School. I've been at the Trotter School. In all the neighborhoods, the, the student bodies are a little bit different in terms of their makeup, sort of where they're coming from, where their families are from. And so it just really 
helps me to learn about who's in my neighborhood, who, who's our future. These children are our future. Uh, and just the energy and the brightness that they have in them and really the really wanting to learn and progress and be successful in life, just like everybody else. Well, you know, I, I had my, my share of struggles with math, and, and one thing I always remember is that if things are going too fast for me in the classroom, I, I get discouraged, but mm -hmm. if I have more time to work out that material with someone, I feel better about myself. Is yeah. that something that, that goes on here? Oh, definitely. It really is. It's step by step, right? Especially with math, because you could do four parts of a problem correctly, and if you do one part incorrectly, the act, the answer ends up being incorrect. And so it's really helping students understand that, oh, you understand this part of it, you understand the second part of it, ah, here's where you're having a little bit of problem. So let's see, let's go back and see where that problem is and see if we can kind of help you work through that. Talk about the, the kinds of people, you, uh, at least the, the academic backgrounds here. They don't have to be that high, but you like to have a good mix of, of different things, probably. Yeah, and we do have a really interesting mix of volunteers. They um, come from all walks of life. So we have probably about a third of our volunteers are college students, college-age students. A uh, third of our volunteers uh, are in the corporate world, um, and they're giving some time up each week. They might want to be exploring a different career, or they just want to get out of the office for an hour. That still happens. Some people do want to do that. Uh, and then um, we have a, a large sort of that encore sort of group of volunteers, really, um, folks who have retired and just really want to be involved, whether it's they live in the neighborhood and they want to get involved a little bit more in their community, uh, or they've got some extra time to give, finally, after working really hard all their lives, and, and they want to come into Boston and work with Boston Public School students. And, and I know you want to get more, and I guess there's a reason why you need more volunteers than you did before. Yeah, so it's our 50th anniversary, and so as we were doing our strategic planning for these next three five to five years, we really thought about, we really Really want to be serving more students and we want to be serving uh, at least 750 more students and I'd say in the next three to five years and we're working on it uh, working really hard on it we'd like to be matching at least a hundred more students this year and because of that we're going to need more academic mentors volunteers from our community to get involved uh, and I'm really we're really trying to engage local communities so local neighborhoods would love to have more volunteers in Dorchester and Roxbury, Hyde Park, Mattapan. Those are hard to get places during uh, the day when people might be working downtown. And so we're doing a real push in terms of recruitment uh, in those neighborhoods right now. And finally, uh, Pamela, we should mention if people want some more information or to get involved, you got the website? Uh, yes, bostonpartners.org. Thank you very much for being with us. Hey, thank you so much, Chris. Pamela Sivens from Boston Partners in Education, and happy 50th anniversary. We'll have more news in just a moment.